In this video, I have so many points to prove that the less you seek, the more you find. Have you ever noticed that when you are job hunting or just written an exam, and after that, until you get the results, you keep thinking about it? Like I think I will get certain numbers in exams, and out of X number of candidates, I'm sure I will be in top 2 or 3 candidates selected for interviews. When you think like that, you're basically creating expectations. And after some time, those expectations seems real to your brain. And when your expectations does not meet the results, then you suddenly start feeling like a loser. Now first, you created all the stress and anxiety in your brain yourself. When they do not meet your expectations, you added more stress and anxiety on top which ended up taking your confidence and making you feel like the biggest loser. So basically, you dug a hole for yourself and day by day, you keep digging it deeper. I have more examples to share which will give you in-depth context soon in this video, so keep watching. When I run after what I think I want, my days are a furnace of stress and anxiety. If I sit in my own place of patience, what I need flows to me and without pain. In this quote, Poet emphasizes on patience and tells us that things which are not in our control, we cannot just waste our energy to keep thinking about them. We have already put our best effort and energy. Now the only thing we can do is just keep yourselves busy and other things and learn something new along with putting more effort and use new strategies to achieve goals from now on. And whenever the results come, we will see. Poet also suggests that when we constantly chasing after what we think we want, that only leads us to stress and anxiety, as I mentioned earlier. But if we can learn to be patient and trust in flow of life, what we truly need will come to us naturally and without struggle. Our parents and grandparents used to, or still, tells us that our life will be however it is meant to be. Now. It is up to you on what context you have to put that in. We cannot just leave everything in future hands, of course. Once our work is done, all we need to be is patient. Whenever any of my friends ask me that how this year 2024 is going to be like for us, I had only one answer. However we make it to be. If your life is going well and happy, then this will be a best year for you. And if your life is going through horrible times, even then, it is up to you to decide how you are going to spend the rest of the year. Is it with fear and lost confidence? Or by tackling the hardships head to head and then learning from your mistakes to grow yourself both mentally and professionally? So it all depends upon yourself. If you are increasing your mental pressure and failures and hardships, then you are digging the hole more deeper for yourself. In the last six years of my corporate career, I have learned that setting goals is very important. But the main cog in the wheel of life to grow further is determination and actions. Because without actions, you cannot achieve anything. And without confidence and research, your actions are not going to do anything in your favor. Now what happens with majority of people is that they set their goals like New Year resolutions. When it comes to actions, their brain goes totally blank because they have not done any research. Even if they have, after failing two or three times, they start losing their confidence and think of themselves as losers. One of the best way to deal with this type of thinking is to socialize as much as one can. I know it is super hard for introverts like us to socialize, but I'm not asking to socialize with strangers. Spend time with your family and close friends. That is all you need. In today's modern world, we have so many things around us to distract like social media, movies, streaming services, TV, games, etc. etc. So if we compare 15, 20 years ago to today's time, then we can easily see that we spend way less time with our parents and families. Just try spending more time with them, you will understand on your own. When we are with our family or close friends, we do not have any social boundaries and we can feel vulnerable around them. Only when we are alone, we overthink and again, our brain starts working on that hole and start digging more. 
But when we were around our family or close friends, our brain totally forgot that there is even a hole to dig. When we look at other people and their chaotic life and see how they talk, like, oh, I wish I could have that. Hopefully, I will buy this thing soon. Oh, I'm applying jobs and hopefully three or four companies will be interested in me to join. Those kind of talks is a coping mechanism and creating expectations for them. Once you compare yourself with them, you see you're not in that stage. And then you realize that you need to fill the hole you dug, slowly but surely. Otherwise, you won't be able to get out of the hole, because it will be too deep. Now, another scenario I wanted to point out is that most of us know someone in our life who always compare themselves to others, whether they show it or not. They always talk about money, jobs, new car, new gadgets, and they never have any other topics to discuss. When we carefully analyze their life behind the scenes, then we should feel sad for them because they do not even know that there is more to life. Their expectations are never going to be fulfilled. Even if they have set a goal, during the process of achieving that goal, their expectations got bigger and bigger. So even after they achieve the initial goal, they are still not satisfied, which leads to them wanting more and more, and it is an everlasting phenomenon. If they have wealth, big house, car, and they go overseas for vacations, we only see these things from the outside. What we don't know is that the person is like a pressure cooker from inside, due to all the mental stress. We do not know even if they have time to spend with their family to do things like cooking together, playing together, gardening together, etc, etc. And why is their life is not like that? Because their brain is creating expectations all the time and they always want more and more and same thing affects their children and their lives too. So they dug the hole that much deeper that to climb out of it is almost impossible. We humans can learn a lot from animals, like patience and be content with less, which is called minimalism in modern society. Again, humans can take everything in extreme, including minimalism, but we do not have to. Another perspective I have is that if you're looking at a jungle from far away and it looks beautiful, and you know if you get deep into the woods, you can get lost, but still, the curiosity and setting expectations part of your brain is making you go closer and closer to the jungle. Now you see few trees in your field of view and you're still going deeper into the woods. And then you get lost and now comes the part where stress, anxiety and discomfort kicks in. But it is already too late and you cannot get out of the woods. If you would have stayed patient with your emotions and just watched the jungle from far and enjoyed the view alone, then you would not have lost in there and never got into that horrible situation. Even if you're facing negative emotions in life, the more you think about those emotions, the more damage you will be doing to yourself mentally. I'm not saying that you have to block all the negative thoughts out, which is easy to say than done, but all I'm saying is that there are many ways to deal with them, as I mentioned earlier in this video, like making yourself busy and learning new things. And again, the less you seek, the more you find. Now it is up to you to decide how you look at this. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe and help this small YouTuber out. Thank you so much.